Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, this is the drone footage of the parade route from when the first person was hit until the officer, Officer Skulkin, um, fired three shots at Bitch Boy Brooks. So let's watch this. I've done a lot for this video. And I hope that you guys will be able to tell that. I think you will. And which direction is it facing? It'd be facing west. Okay. The direction of the, the parade took. Okay. And uh, can you see or identify the business on the right hand side? Uh, that'd be Smart Asa Realty. Okay. And can you tell us? I don't know if you could tell. What's on the left-hand side? Can you identify anything? Uh, just right a little now? bit further up is uh, Subway uh, Sandwich Shop, and I know that the Vino Gelato is right next door to that. Okay, that's kind of right about the roof of that vehicle that's parked there on the left, right? I see Subway sign? Correct. Okay. All right, please play. And can you pause it here, please, at the 23 second mark? Uh, was anybody struck in this area, sir? Yes, this would be the area that Nicole White was struck. With the Remax balloon? Correct. Okay. This is where the first person was hit. Nicole White was hit right here. And here she is here. Nicole, I am so sorry you've been through what you've been through. I'm sure there's been a lot of trauma involved with all of this. And I've been praying for all of you guys in Waukesha. And I hope everything is healing properly and that you're in, you know, better spirits, I guess. And now we got a better shot of the subway there on the left. Correct. Okay, and on the right past Asset Realty, there seems to be a tall building with some mirrored windows on the right. Do you see that? Correct. That should be 220 West Main Street. And what's located there, sir? Uh, it's an apartment build, and it's an apartment building, um, five levels, and we captured some video that was uh, recorded on the top floor of that building. Okay. All right, play. And we'll pause it at the 35 second mark. Was anybody struck in this area, sir? Uh, this would be the area of the Waukesha South Band. This is the area where the Waukesha South Band members were hit. I put second hit because they were the second ones hit after Nicole. Um, this is it without the uh, the writing on it. But this is where they were hit. And if you look at that building in the on the right, that brown building with the um, mirrored windows, I think she called them. That's where that person was recording as, you know, looking down. That's where he was recording from. Uh, the top floor of that building but anyways I just wanted to let uh, the band member I don't know if she's still the band member I don't I don't know the band members that were affected actually I think she she's the band manager I don't know if I said member but anyway the band members that were affected including Tyler Pudlocker, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, anybody that even just seen it, it's, 
I couldn't even imagine. I mean, I have dreams of this, and I haven't even... I mean, I've been to that parade before, but, like, I wasn't there when this happened, and I, in my dreams, you'd think I was. And I just pray for all of you guys. I want to keep reiterating that. I continuously pray for you guys. I don't get on my hands and knees, but prayers are said. Trust me. Okay. Play. And we'll pause it there. At the 59 second mark, what do we see here, sir? The businesses identify, please. Oh, there's a chocolate shop on the left, and then uh, the Vino and Gelato is just on your left, and the front building on your left with the black roof is Martha Merrill's bookstore. Okay. Was anybody struck in this area? Oh, uh, this would be the area that Barris Logistics was at. Kelly and your husband and your little girl, Adelia. I know you and Adelia were hit, Kelly. Um, I'm not, sh I don't believe anything, anyone else from Burris Logistics were hit, but I know you two were hit. You were the third and fourth hit. And I just want to let you know that you were very strong on the stand and very strong given your victim impact statement. I'm sure that you and your daughter are going to be okay. I'm sure it's very traumatic. I couldn't even imagine. But like I've been saying, doing all these videos, I pray for all of you guys. And don't let uh, Bitch Boy Brooks get you guys down that's letting him have way too much power he doesn't need to have any power okay play So you could just keep it plain. I'm going to talk, but you could keep it plain. It's at the 117 mark. What's that cross street here? Uh, this would be Gasper Street. Okay. And that area there is where there were some spectators that were hit. Okay. Thank you. Now we've just crossed Gasper? Correct. Okay. And keep it plain, please, at the 157 mark. What businesses are we seeing here? Uh, the joke shop is on your left, and the Waukesha Theater is on your right. That's the area that the Waukesha Blazers were in when they were hit. Okay. Okay, this is where, oh, this is so sad. This is where the Waukesha Blazers were hit. Jackson 
and Tucker. Just adorable little dudes. And look at Jackson. He is just, he has the most cutest little smile, little adorable guy. And this is the mom, the dad, that's Sherry and Aaron, Tucker and Jackson. Mm-mm-mm. I I don't even know what to say except that you guys have most definitely been in my prayers, my thoughts every day. I love Waukesha, and this is just the typical smiley, happy family you see there. And these, I'm so sorry that Jackson was ripped from your life, and. I'm I'm happy that Tucker was not. I just wish that we could go back in time and like have this not happen at all. I can't believe I'm not even going to mention anything about the thing that did this, but uh I'm going to continue to pray for you guys, and I'm going to continue to talk about jerseys for Jackson. And all I could say is I'm so sorry. From mom to mom, from parent to parent, I'm so sorry. And now we're approaching the five points area, sir? Correct. All right. Was any group injured in this area? This is where the Extreme Dance Club was when they were impacted. Hey, everyone. This is where the Extreme Dance team was when they were struck. And this is um, that exact place where the Extreme Dance was struck just without the name on it that I put on there. I just want to say that I'm praying for all the children that were hit, everybody that was hit, but all the children or, or, and or adults that were hit um, from the extreme dance. This is two of the um, coaches, I guess you would call, there. And this is Jessalyn. This is Jessalyn and her mom, and this is her, and that's the dance team right there. And I just wanted to say to you guys, you guys are fighters. Jessalyn, you are a strong cookie. I don't know. I think you must get it from your mama, because she sure seems like she's a strong woman. And I pray for all of you. I pray for your families and everyone else that has had to deal with this and witness this evil act by such a coward. Just keep dancing and keep those pom-poms moving. Okay. For the record, that was at 2.34. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, at the 240 mark here, what's this business on the right? Objection. Uh, Just for the record, who are the people off to the right? You can question the witness during cross-examination, okay? On the right, there's Mama Duckies and Chef Pam's kitchen. Okay. And this is where we get that weird cross streets that's why it's called five points right correct and that's why everybody gets lost in downtown Waukesha, <laughs> right yes okay
All right, now we've gotten through the five points. And what business is on the right, sir? We're at the 319 mark. Uh, there's a Irish restaurant on the right, and then coming up, up ahead is a steaming cup. That's right on the corner, on the right corner. And then on the left corner would be People's Park, which is a restaurant. And that's the Clark Hotel on the right? Correct. Okay. Uh, we'll pause it here at the 351 mark. Do you see uh, a vehicle in the picture at this point, sir? Yes, I do. Do you know what unit that vehicle is associated with? That's a support vehicle for Citizens Bank. Is this the area where Jane Kulik was struck and killed? Yes, just up in front of the vehicle on the right-hand side, there's two green hash marks that would uh, be the location that she was found at. Okay. This is the area where King Kulik was hit. That's the Citizens Bank vehicle. This is her and one of her daughters. Her daughter. Her daughter and her daughter's twin, so that's her son. Here's her other daughter. Another relative, another one. And I just wanted to tell everybody from the Kulik family, from Citizens Bank, including um, her husband, and Mr. Bonesteel and his wife, who worked for Citizens Bank. It's a very, uh, you can only say so much. It's like, what what's going to help? Except you guys are in my thoughts and prayers and have been. I pray for you guys, and I always have been. The only thing I could think of is to remember Jane's clumsiness. I know that that was talked about, <laughs> the how she used to joke with her co-workers about her clumsiness. I just feel awful. I mean, you know, especially for her husband and kids and grandkids, this must be the hardest time of their this has to be the hardest time this is the hardest time of their lives I pray for you guys and I'll continue to do so just don't let Mr. Uh, BBB because I'm not saying his name uh, especially not in this video no more man um, don't let the convicted like uh, Jenny Sorensen's husband called him the convicted. Don't let him rent any space in your guys' head anymore. He's not worth it. He's not even worth a second of it. I think you guys already realize that, though. I'll continue to pray for all of you. Play, please. And you already mentioned that's a steaming cup on the right, correct? Correct. And uh, the uh, there were some kids hurt on the corner there? 
Yes, on this corner where the blankets were, there was three kids that were sitting there that were impacted. Okay. Now at this point, it's about 417 and the drone's gonna focus in on some skid marks on the roadway, is that right? That is correct. After further investigation, did these skid marks have any relevance to this investigation, sir? We believe they have no relevance to this investigation at all. But at the time, we weren't sure, correct? Correct. All right, now we're uh, through that intersection. Did anything of significance occur in this area, sir? We're at the 517 mark of the video. Yes, this is where the dancing grannies were at when they were impacted. All right, can you please identify some of the businesses as we're going? Well, yeah, first, uh, we just passed the white vehicle at the 523 mark. What was that, please? That's the Dancing Granny support vehicle. Okay. And then directly on the right in front of that is Donny Boys, which okay. is a bar. And then up a little bit further on your left-hand side is Curry Insurance. Okay, and we see Magellan's on the right with the big M? Correct. Okay. And you said this is the area where the dancing grannies were impacted. Yes. Are you able to tell uh, from this drone the area where the uh, position of three of the deceased victims from the dancing grannies were located? Yes, As I we go further. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm just I'm asking the foundational question. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and play, please. Pause. Uh, that's the 532 mark. Can you identify for us what we see here, please? On the left hand side, there's a pavement marking with green paint, and there's some um, towels that were used um, for giving medical aid and a lot of blood on the ground. Do you know who was found at this location, sir? Yes, I do. Who was that? Uh, Tamara Durand. She's a deceased victim from the grannies? Yes, she is. Okay. How about on the left-hand side of the video, there's a building that I can read says Karate Studios. Do you see that, sir? Yes, ma'am. Was another victim of the dancing grannies found in that location? Yes, there was. And who was found in that uh, position, sir? Leanna Owens. Okay. Please keep playing the video. That's Curry Insurance on the left. I can see the sign. Correct. Okay. And coming up will be the uh, third uh, position for uh, one of the Dancy grannies who suffered fatal injuries as a result of this incident, sir? Yes. Right there? Correct. Who was found in that location? Virginia Sorensen. Okay. This is where the dancing grannies were when they were struck. That white vehicle on the right is their music vehicle. And, and um, here's the dancing grannies. And we got a plus one. He was just you know, out there that night, handing ice to everybody, being a support person for his wife, Lola Hospital. If you see that green circle on the left there, hate to say it this way, that's where Leanna Owen was found. 
Cameron Durant was one on the right side. If you kind of see the circle there. And this is Tamara, such a beautiful woman. And there's Lee Owen right there. Everybody's just so friendly in Waukesha, too, so it, it doesn't surprise me that the community came together and helped out all these people. It really doesn't surprise me of that. And, of course, this is Tamara's um, brother. And this is where Virginia Sorensen, you see that green circle right there? That's where she was. And this is her. And... This is her, one of her sons or whatever brought, I think that was either verdict day or sentencing day. I think it might have been verdict day. This is her son. This is her son. Her son and her husband. And this is the part without her name right there. And I just really wanted to say to Laura Fien, I wanted to say that you did awesome on the stand and you showed the defendant, the convicted, uh, actually, who was boss, and it was you, and you weren't going to let him get one over on you, and that's exactly it. And I just want to say to the dancing grannies, all the ones that are still dancing, all the ones who have stopped dancing since the tragedy, to the families of Tamara, Jenny, Leanne, and Bill, I, I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for all of the dancing grannies. I'm praying for all of Waukesha. Shoot, I'm praying for the whole, anybody affected by this in any way whatsoever. I'm praying for all of you, for healing, for, you know, just don't let him rent space in your guys' heads. I've said it before. Don't let him rent space in your head. The only person that should be up in your mind should be God. Don't let that, that loser's locked up. Who cares about him? I'll continue to pray for you guys always. Continue playing. What's the side street we're passing here? Uh, Maple Avenue. Okay. And what are we approaching here in this area, sir? We're coming up to the area where the Catholic Charities um, were impacted. And on the right, there's a building with, um, it's a one-story building with a black roof that goes around. That would be Planned Parenthood of Waukesha, or okay. Wisconsin. where the Catholic community of Waukesha was hit. This is a picture, if you could tell, you see that building right there on the right, the black thing, the black like thing on the top, not the building, the tall building, but the smaller building on the right with the black thing around it. It's the same building right here. This is how it looked like on the 21st after 
jerk off good for nothing bitch boy the convicted um ran through it such a jerk he did this but anyway um Margaret Lori Just some other pictures that I and, and I you guys have it. I'm praying for you guys. I've continued to pray for you guys. You guys have God on your side. I see that. Just please be strong. I'm going to continue to pray for all of you, for your physical healing, for your spiritual healing, for your mental health through all of this crap that the jerk-off did to you. And I'll continue to pray for all of you. Now we're getting towards the end of Main Street here where it turns to Wisconsin Avenue? That is correct. Okay. There's a natural bend in the road to the left, right? That is correct. Dog leg left. Now we are past the, past the point where anybody is further struck by the vehicle, correct? That's correct. No, nobody was injured in this location? No, they were not. But we're approaching, if the uh, video will go, we're approaching Veterans Park? Correct, Veterans Park is directly in front. If you were not to not turn on the roadway, you would run into Veterans Park. Right where that big tree is in the middle of the screen. Yes. All right, I'm impatient, so I'm gonna <laughs> have you describe for us as we turn the bend, uh, what's the significance of this area, sir? So in this uh, area, when the vehicle that was hitting and killing all these people came up to the bend in the road, it turned to the left and Officer Schulten was standing there and he made the decision to use deadly force to attempt to stop the vehicle. Okay. And that's this intersection here that we're seeing where the two squad cars are parked? Yes, it is. This is the area where Officer Scolton was standing when he fired at the defendant's vehicle? Yes, it is. All right. We can go ahead and stop it at the 801 mark, please. Thank you. Oh, wait, before you turn it off, it's kind of hard to see, and nobody probably will be able to read it, but maybe you, if you look real close, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a date and time stamp on the, on the drone video. Do you see that, sir? Yes, I do. Could you please read that? It says 2021-11-22, and then it says 10 colon 06, and I can't read the smaller numbers. So to me, that'd mean it was November 22nd, 2021 at 10 06. That's the time this recording was made, correct? Yes. Okay. The last little bit after um, all the spots had been shown where the people were hit and such, um, talking about where Bitch Boy Brooks 
um, was shot at or shot towards how Officer Skolton shot towards his uh, BBB's vehicle and decided to use deadly force because, I mean, crap, look what he had just done. You know, what else are you going to do? Um, I hope everybody sees that I put a lot into this. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but I did. Trust and believe I spent hours. Um, you know, just getting certain pictures, looking up things, certain, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm just going to leave this. I'm not going to put any shout outs. And I will, however, um, just give thanks to every single one of my supporters everybody else who views my videos as long as you're respectful you know I can deal with it so I hope everybody had a great day a great evening and I hope everybody sleeps well thank you